Hogo here, and welcome to episode 2 of Swing 101. In this episode, I am going to show you how components work in uh, Swing, and we're just going to make it actually display the text Hello World. Uh, this is just like an introduction to how, you know, all the different components work, how to create them, change different properties of them, and then uh, set, and then, you know, add them to the frame. Uh, eventually, you know, we'll learn more of the components uh, that are built in, but for today, this is just how all of them work in general. Uh, and the example we're going to be using is actually printing out some text. So in between the declaration of the frame and where we change all the properties, that's where I usually like to do all of the work, because you got to have the frame declared, but I feel like, you know, setting the size and setting all those other properties belongs towards the bottom. So in between there is usually where I write this code, but it's of course up to you. And um, what we want to do here is we're going to actually go ahead and declare what's called a J label. Uh, this is a class that represents a text label in Swing. And you declare it like a regular class, J label, call it label, it's equal to new J label. And then in the constructor, you can actually pass it uh, the text that you want it to have. And now we've just gone ahead and declared this. Now, if you go ahead and do label dot, you'll notice that there are tons of um, methods here, and a lot of these uh, are also uh, similar to what you would see in the JFrame class because uh, uh, because of the inheritance tree, uh, JFrame and JLabel, I believe, actually inherit from the same uh, component or J component class. Uh, so a lot of these methods are actually very similar, and there are a ton of them. Most of them you would never even need to look at. Uh, but a couple interesting ones that I can go ahead and quickly show you. Uh, for anything that is related to text, like, um, you know, a uh, text input or text display, uh, there are tons of text methods, like, for example, setting the font. So if you wanted to set the font of this, uh, you can go ahead and construct a font. This takes three parameters, first the name of the font, then the um, uh, parameters of the font, then the size. So in this case, we can use font dot sans serif. That's just the built-in sans serif, you know, standard font. Uh, then you can do font dot. We're going to do plain, but you could have bold and it or italics or whatever you wanted there. And then you can go ahead and do the size, so like 18. This will work with any um, component that is uh, a text component. You'll have that set font. Uh, with labels, if you want to change the color, you use uh, set foreground. Like we use set background to change the background color of the frame. Uh, we want to set the foreground, which is the font color. And here we could do, uh, let's say, color dot white. I'm not sure how well that'll show up, but uh, it's just an example. So that foreground set foreground method is uh, is uh, inherited by all of these components, but of course it varies based on the particular component. Um, you know, there are lots of other methods. Another one that I like to use is set alignment x, which will set the x alignment. So uh, in this case, if you go ahead and take a look in the component class, you can see there's bottom alignment, center alignment, left, right, and top. I like to use um, the center alignment so that it will actually, if you want to center it inside of the frame or whatever panel you have, you can actually, you know, set the x alignment to be center. And those are just some of the things that you can do. If you type in, of course, label dot, and you take a look at all of the different methods in here, there are tons of methods, and each one will actually give you, excuse me, a description of the uh, information of what it does. Most of these methods, <coughs> excuse me, most of these methods you will never actually use, but um, as you can see, there's just a ton of um different things that you could do with even just a component that shows text. I mean, it's Swing is pretty cool in that way. Finally, if you want to add this to the frame, we go ahead and call frame.add. <clears throat> and we want to go ahead and say that the component we want to add is the label. So we'll go ahead and add that label to the frame. So let's go ahead and actually uh, run this program and put that next to the code. As you can see, 
does say hello world, so the text is hello world. There is also a set text method, so you can change the text later. Uh, the font is, it's pretty much the default font, but it's bigger than usual because it's size 18, so that works. Uh, the foreground is obviously white because the uh, color of the text is white. Uh, now the only thing that is not working is the set alignment X to be centered. The reason why this is not working, I believe, is because of <clears throat> is because of the uh, layout manager. I think it uses a box layout by default, which does not work with this. But when we get into layout managers pretty soon, I'll show you different ways to layout components. So like right now, you just have this one in the you know left center, uh, but eventually you could have it line up so that they stack on top of each other going down, or you could, you know, have three components there, uh, have like a one at the top and one at the bottom, and other different uh, layout managers that you can use to control how things uh, get displayed. So I think that's all that uh, we needed to do for this video. I just wanted to show you um, how to create a component, add it to a frame, and then also some of the methods that you can use with the components. Most of these methods will apply, of course, uh, set font will apply to any text-related component, and the foreground and alignment X exist in all of the components, so you can use them anywhere. And those are just some of the many methods that you can use. In the next video, um, I'll show you, uh, probably in the next video, I'm going to show you some more uh, components you can use, like buttons and, you know, radio buttons and uh, slots. There's a ton of uh, other cool things that you can do uh, inside of Swing, you know, text input and lots of other things. So that's all for this simple video. As always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment what you want to learn, and also let me know what you want to do with Swing. Like, uh, you know, we're doing this series, but uh, is there anything you're interested in making as a final outcome and working towards it like we do in the Java 101 series? Let me know. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye.